are you up to now? Uh, looking for some more demos. Or some demos on the tape? Uh, on one of Maury's uh, older tapes. You can change the size of the martini up and down. Okay, so what are we doing? I'm going to do an LO, which loads the current uh, binary. Okay. And so now it's loading the binary off the tape. Yeah. There it is, bouncing ball. And I'm speeding it up. Okay. Now the dinging sound. Is that's, that... the chi that's the halt chime. Oh, that's the halt chime. Yeah. When you execute a halt instruction, it rings the chime. Uh, that can be turned off by the knob here. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. This is my first thing done ever done on the links. All right, start twenty. Great. So what are we doing? Well, the tape hubs on the link uh, have lousy set screws, and they, they shift on the, uh, the shaft. So when one of them comes loose and you can feel it, mm -hmm. then you have to get this under the edge of the, the hub. Mm -hmm. Now, in general, you have to pull the tape unit out to do that. But you can get to these two, so I can just show you what you do. This will take a moment or two. So let's say, uh, let's say this hub right here is loose. Okay. Which, which it was earlier today. So then you put the edge of this hub okay. behind that one. As a spacer gauge. As sure. a spacer gauge. Okay. Push it back against that. And then there's two little tiny, little, tiny, tiny screws. Watch there's a hole screws there and a hole over there. They're at 90 degrees. And, and the shaft has that 90 degree V in the shaft. You know, okay. it's, it's round, it's three quarters round and then a, and then it has a V in it. So you, you have to sort of align. First you have to find the hole down mm -hmm. in here. Okay. Which is mad, you know, it's quite a bit of wiggling. And then you have to find the straight slot on the screw. And then you can Torque. tighten it. Uh, now, why they didn't use Allen screws for that, I don't know. You can probably find some and replace, replace, them. Them. Uh, replace the ones that are in there. Because they're uh, probably a normal thread. They're a rather coarse thread. It's kind of... Yeah, it looks to me like it may be a... like an eight, a coarse... Enough. How do we load these tapes? Can you show how to well, put a tape on? Oh, sure. Okay, well, first we have to get the take up reels back. They should just. So that's the take up reel here. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah, you always load from the right. And they ought to go on a little easier. That's the, getting just the right rubber band under the wire right. is, is part of the magic. Of the number, magic. number 16 is the closest we've been able to come to it. All right, you get it, you get it on, the, and then you. Let it turn a few turns. Okay. So you get past the. Uh, so how do you? So you pull the you pull the tape across the top here, right. and then what attaches the tape to the tape? Well, reel? on this particular one, it still has the original sticky. Ah. Okay. This is what comes from Scotch, and this is good sticky because it will not. Uh, it doesn't transfer. Right. Right. Things, yeah. things like masking tape. No, no. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> That's why we went to those vinyl strips. Those vinyl strips. Okay. Like this, this stuff. Very So then, right. I saw. So then you you pull the tape up and over. Yeah. Uh, like that. And try try to remember if if it is the kind with the sticky. Try not to touch the guides or the head with the sticky. Just. Yes. You know. Okay. There you go. And that makes it so easy because you just do a few turns, hit the button for a couple seconds, and you're all and, set. And to you're go. all set to go. Yeah. And then how do you come here and do? Uh, Get started. Yeah. Well, octal seven oh three seventy three hundred. That's the magic. How to start lap six. Seven oh one seventy three hundred. Seven oh one. 
and 7300. This is a this is a tape instruction which says read a group. The, this, this, without that, it's a read instruction. With this on, it's a read group. Okay. Which means a group of blocks, starting at block 300. Right. For and an additional seven blocks. So you get all eight. You fill memory. You get eight blocks of tape, which fills memory. Okay. Entirely. So. And this is a lap six version. And, 6.5 tape. And the way that this ex this you know two two word instruction is executed by a do tag, and that's causing it to go to block 300, and it'll read in lap six. Okay, so lap six is on this tape, it's and on both tapes. We have ha we happen to have it on both tapes. Both tapes, okay. And then once it's read the tape, you push start 20, and lap and six lap is running. Six is running. Yeah, you got to get close to yeah, so you could. Uh, so here we have. So that's lap six running right there. Focus. And that's just the manuscript that I was working on, which is the bouncing ball. Okay. So that that literally is the sort of the assembler yes. instructions for the bouncing ball. Right. It is. In fact, there, oh, there's the... Um, well, that was the simulation written in BASIC. The simulation written in BASIC. Uh, which, uh, we can run and get this, the BASIC program that, the basic for the bouncing program. ball. Okay. Which is quite simple. And hit F5 and it'll... Just, it'll run that. It'll run that. And then the lap, where's the uh, code for the lap six program? Well, in the state, that I, I grabbed it last night using our, our RS-232 interface. We have a bouncing ball. Yes. So this is what I grabbed off of the, last night off of our RS-232 interface. It starts with the symbol table. Okay. And then there's the uh, assembler. Okay. Mori. Mori Pepper. Of St. Louis. Well, it's a great city. And Maury, what was your uh, Here Comes Wes? Let's all listen to talking about bouncing. Oh, yeah, this is so far so good. Um, we, the bouncing, Wes, the uh, bouncing ball is working. I believe it when you see it. You'll believe it when you see it. As Charlie used to say, don't trust nobody. Don't trust nobody. Can you see? Yeah, it's very well. It's going to need some help. It's having trouble. Yeah, now it's a right and check group. Look, like Ah, there it goes. Hey. It was, it was, the problem was that there was an a, APO, there should have been an APOI. And so it kept thinking it was hitting the wall every time through the loop. Never went anywhere. Yeah, never went anywhere. Do it again, do it again. Oh, nice. Bing, where's the sound? I want to hear the sound. That makes it go faster. I want to hear the sound. It doesn't make much. Come on, make more sound. Where's the switch? Is it down on make the Make more sound. Switch? More sound. Switch more sound. Is... Tell me, um, uh, tell me how, uh, what I can throw in. Uh, a dummy multiply that simply throws a sound into the Z register. A single bit will do. And then turn up the Z. I don't think this program has enough structure to really create a good sound. So, uh, well, too bad. Anyway, the thing well, is, we could, we could throw in a... If it ain't broke, no fix it. Come on, let's look at it again. I'm yeah, you mean putting a fake sound in the well, playlist? Well, it knows when it bounces. It I mean, that, have there's an if that says... Yeah, like, I mean, you can put a fake sound in the lower playlist. X, lower X, I mean, lower horizontal block. What about it? Can you change, can you reduce the horizontal block? I can do everything, but well, not. But the, I haven't added those knobs. The only knob that I built in initially was the delay knob. Delay. That makes it go slower. Okay. And that's live. I can turn that up on, oh, on the fly. Okay. And I mean, I was just guessing. The, yeah. the parameters that it's using right now were all guesses as to what would be a reasonable delay without doing any calculations. Yeah, I mean, but I, I mean, I put five together. And I was going to have it loop continuously. Okay, but, I, but you know, you're, you're, uh, it only gets one bounce record as the other wall. So, uh, I like well, that's, I mean, I was going to put the wall, I was going to have the wall shiftable. I was going to have horizontal velocity shiftable. Exactly. Well, it's all, they're all parameters that I built in so I could do those things. Okay. That's, 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 but we just, we... That's the curse of the program. <laughs> Right, that's great. That's great. So, uh, Ivan will be so pleased. 
<laughs> what, did the Lincoln still uh, bounce the ball? No, he's going to be just. Oh, now, here. He's going to be tell disappointed you what you if he didn't bounce the ball. Tell you what. This is your area. The thing you mentioned was let's display more than a dot. And I'm, yeah. What's a decent approximation of a circle that we can do with, you know, four or six dots? Four adjacent dots. Well, you, yeah, you can do that. Well, I, it's right now. It's just a, a single spot. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, you know, we just made it two, four, one. But what, can't we do one, something that's one, more, a little more circular in nature? Well, Bobby, you'll never see a circle. Come on, come on. Yes, you could. Oh. That'll slow you down a little bit. But um, well, it won't take much. You should fill it in. I got a lot of ways. Yes, it is. I want you to fill it in. Well, that's the part I didn't want. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Is, I mean, assuming that these are right now, you're just seeing one pixel. So if every one of these squares represents a pixel, yes. uh, so make four pixels side by side. Yeah, I did. I did make that circle. Two, I should. Two I should. Two. It's so simple. Well, what if I did a diamond? Why? Why do a diamond? What do you got against squares anyway? Well, the diamond looks more circular. I want it to look like a ball. A, you'll never see a ball in this get up resolution to from a distance if you're a viewer here. Come on.